I started my study at Concordia University in 2005. I took studio art as my major in the fine art department. So it was very interesting opportunity to learn and at the same time I used a lot of materials that I brought from Indonesia to Canada as my art materials. When I finished my study in 2010, I was very lucky to get some opportunity to show my artworks in Montreal, Canada. That's where I show my installation art for public, where I use so many artifacts from Bali, especially like uh, dulang and holy water containers, this kind of thing. I think it was very important exhibition to combine the culture from Indonesia and also the Western art history to show the people, the public in Montreal, like how unique I was as an artist. With my education background, especially from Canada, I think my strength is uh, to build a project based on a very strong concept. So I get used to do a lot of researches. When I create something, it has to be based on uh, the contemporary challenges in our life so that my art can represent what's happening around me and also to, to create a new conversation about the topics, about the contemporary topics. So having some exhibition overseas, basically to engage what the public perception about the artworks because they need to know why I created those pieces and what's the backgrounds, what the relationship between my artworks with the art history. In Indonesia, I noticed that the final result is more important. So some artists with like a highly skill usually get better appreciated. That was the challenge for me and I, 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 like, I like a challenge. So I really try to push it between a very strong concept and beautiful result at the same time. So with the current project, I have Weaving the Ocean can be appreciated in Indonesia and Canada. The current projects I have at the moment titled Weaving the Ocean started during the pandemic. That was really challenging time. I could see how difficult for so many Balinese were living in this island because there was no tourists at all, everything locked down. For me at the time, it's just like observing what around me. So I started to clean the beaches and also the, the mangrove forest. I could see so many plastic ropes that tangled on the roof of mangrove trees. I collected them and then at the same time, I could see so many people looking for seaweeds and also some cells for them to survive. It was, it was not easy, but finally to be able to continue the works and providing supports to the community, I decided to ask them to unravel the plastic ropes. We got like a many beautiful, colorful plastic threads, the finest plastic threads that I saw as a very potential materials that reminded me of uh, the weaving materials in Bali. One day when I walked along the main road in Sanur, I saw a family who owns weaving workshop. They were going bankrupt. I talked to them, it was very hard to them. At the beginning, I had no idea what I was going to do with the plastic threads. And then it gave me idea about how if we could weave the plastic threads. So at the beginning, the weaver said it would be impossible, but, and then I said, let's, let's try it. So I just left all the materials. I let her to work with the materials as best as she could. After one month, 
I decided to visit the weaver again. In one month, she could only make around 20, 15, 20 centimeters. She told me like, I don't think I can do this. So it was really touching. And I said to her, you know, this is, this is miracle. This is amazing. You could weave the plastic threads with the cotton. Let's do that. Just, just like, a, like a piece by piece. Let's do that slowly. It, it really gives us hope. So yeah, it was, it, it was started by that. So I'm very happy that I've got this opportunity to, to have my artworks titled Weaving the Ocean, Pieces of Hope at the Kempinski Bali, because that's exactly the story of, uh, of this project, because it's also the form of support by the Kempinski Bali for artists that really care about the community and also for, for the culture. Why I titled Weaving the Ocean Pieces of Hope because everything that built the sculpture basically started from like a piece by piece. Something that we pick up from the mangrove areas, from the beaches. We have to handle things one by one, little by little, until we could get the finest strand, the finest threads that becoming textile or like a piece of sculpture. I think just to have hopes working together with so many people around us is important. And also for like a big institution as the Kempinski Bali to support the project like what we have, weaving the ocean. It's kind of a giving the artist hope that there are some important institution that care about this and then we can share it to bigger audience, to tell the stories that motivates all of us, inspires all of us. It's a very important move to have a bigger stage in this very good institution. I love Bali very much. I visited Bali since I was very young, and what I learned that Bali is the most beautiful islands, not only the landscape, not only the nature, but also its culture. Let's revisit again what we have, what the things that shape our culture, because there are so many things that we can do to preserve it. So I think for younger generation, we should never take the richness of Bali for granted. It's very important to appreciate the nature we have and also the culture we have. If we don't appreciate the culture, we will never continue what our ancestors left for us, basically.